Claude Debussy once said, piano music should be written only for the Beckstein. Debussy also once said, omelette du fromage, which means... Yeah, that wasn't Debussy, that was Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. Today, we'll be looking at one of my favorite piano VSTs, The Gentleman by Native Instruments. In the user manual, it says it replicates a wonderful vintage Beckstein Model A upright piano, which is interesting because I couldn't find a Model A listed anywhere for Beckstein's uprights, just their grands. I'm curious as to what exact piano was used for this VST, but I've heard that Native Instruments keeps it locked away in a bunker somewhere next to a 50 foot tall hardware version of Massive. The Gentleman has a very intimate piano sound and makes it sound like it's right in front of your face. Its initial patch gives us a very dry and very warm sound with not only plenty of dynamic range, but a range with regard to the hardness of the hammers, indicative of a well-voiced and well-maintained piano. We do have the ability to adjust that hardness and softness. If we go all the way soft, we get a sound that's very close to the sound of a felted piano. If we go all the way hard, we get a very saloon-like piano sound, which isn't my favorite. At this hardness, I think it sounds pretty unrealistic and almost kind of out of tune, but it could maybe work for ragtime. If you dial back the hardness just a little bit, and maybe close the lid and add a bit more compression, we can get a sound that might work for something like an anime theme song. We could also use it for a little bit of jazz. The Gentleman comes with a number of other parameters that you can adjust to taste depending on what sound you're going for. If we open up the tone section, we get an equalizer, which seems to adjust microphone balance. tonal depth, a transient shaper, a volume knob for the lower notes of the piano, and in my opinion, the most useful of them all, a compressor. If we open up the anatomy area, you can add noises from the hammers, pedals, and strings, which gives some life to the piano and reminds you of its complex machinery. I know some people who are fans of the felted piano sound really do like hearing those mechanics. Kind of gives you a little bit more of that intimacy that we already like from this piano. There is a resonances knob. This is basically emulating on a real piano and you lift up the dampers. The strings start to vibrate with each other and this adjusts the volume of those sympathetic vibrations that those piano strings experience. There's an overtones knob, which is pretty interesting. I'm not sure how useful this would really be in the context of an actual song, but it does let you do little tricks like this, which you can do on a real piano. You can do tricks like this on a real piano to test how in tune it is. I tried testing it on here, but unfortunately there's kind of a limit with how many overtones it'll actually give you per string. So unfortunately I wasn't able to verify how well in tune this piano was, but it sounds fine. So I don't think we need to do that anyway. Finally, like a lot of other contact instruments, there is this built-in reverb section. I love loading up a bunch of reverb when I'm just trying to play piano and have fun for myself. Obviously you could disable it entirely and use a totally separate reverb. I personally love Realm, which is also by Native Instruments on this particular piano. I personally find that the default 
setting of the gentleman is probably the best with maybe just a slight adjustment of the hardness and a little bit of reverb for the kinds of things that I want to play regardless of the style of the track that's usually a pretty good middle ground to be but it's great having these different options in case you're trying to go for something totally different and also just because you spend so much money on a plugin you want to have some freedom to be artistic with it. Claude Debussy, by the way, if you're French, I know it's probably pronounced something more like Debussy, but in my language, Debussy means something very different. So yeah, for the rest of this video, I'm just going to call him Claude. Claude owned three pianos at the time of his death, a Bluthner Grand Piano, a Pleyel Upright, and a Beckstein Upright. As mentioned earlier, the Beckstein was his favorite. It's pretty cool that through this VST, we can kind of get a glimpse into why. I think maybe he really likes that kind of intimate, close sound, and Beckstein's in person do have a darker character than maybe something like a Steinway does. I think the gentleman has a great middle ground between a very soft felted piano, which in my opinion tends to lose a little bit of dynamics and a little bit of expressive range. Again, with those hammers being so soft, you can't really dig in and get a very huge sound. But then, you know, Native Instruments Noir has a very bright grand sound and it's beautiful, but not everybody wants a piano that sounds quite that way. I think there's mic changes where you can make it sound closer, but it's not quite as in your face perhaps. So I think the gentleman has a good middle ground where you can play classical music on it and it sounds wonderful. You could play very slow chords, kind of like a film score, compress it a bunch, do stuff to it to make it sound huge. And it sounds great for both of those, whereas some pianos may specialize a little bit more in one area. I like to imagine that if Claude he were still alive today, first of all, he'd probably be a nightmare to teach how to use an iPhone. But other than that, I think Claude might have like a MacBook Pro somewhere with the gentleman loaded up on his default Cubase project, realistically, and love to play on it so we can kind of get the sound of, you know, the piano that he knows and loves. The Gentleman is my personal favorite piano for really intimate piano playing and a really intimate piano sound. I love it for solo piano music since that's mostly kind of what I play, but I hope I was able to show you through this video that you can use it for a number of other things as well. If you're a user of The Gentleman and love it as well, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you use The Gentleman and you hate it, I'd still love to hear your feedback in a comment just see kind of why or if there's another similar piano that I don't know about. I'd also like to thank Dave at Infinite Audio Concepts for letting me use this awesome space. I came here for this terrific couch, but this is a full-on recording studio that looks pretty cool at pretty much every angle. So if you're trying to do any video or audio work and you're near Troutman, North Carolina, it's a great place to do it. If you liked this video, please like it. That's how I know I'm doing a good job. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.